everybody it is brooke i am back and you know it is time for another episode of buffy the vampire slayer i'm obsessed with this show enjoying this season so far a little of a slower start than season three but i'm still very into it uh today we're watching season four episode six uh last time on the channel we watched angel season one episode six so we're kind of following a certain guide on the internet. It's called, like, the Slayer's Guide if you want to look at what's coming next. Uh, but you can watch my uncut reaction to this episode on Patreon, uh, as well as get early access to the next episodes and exclusive episodes and full uncuts of everything in, on the channel, including, like, movie nights and stuff. Um, I've really been enjoying this series it's a little slower getting through season four now because we also have Angel. So, obviously, instead of recording two Buffies a week, I'm recording normally an Angel and a Buffy each week. Uh, but there'll be some weeks where it's two Angels and two Buffies. But, you know, it's like it's going to be a little slower to get through it. Uh, I'm still really enjoying the season, but it just means I haven't figured out what the big storyline is yet. It's something to do with these military guys we keep seeing. Uh but we're not 100% sure. Uh, if you want to make sure that you can support the channel for free and you never miss an episode from the Buffyverse, you can subscribe, like, and comment on the videos, and hit the bell, and then it'll literally be like, hey, she posted a video, go watch it. Um, because we're really getting deep into the lore of both shows now I feel like uh and it's interesting to kind of see the similarities and differences of Angel versus Buffy and like the way they handle certain topics or one is more of a crime show while one is more of a like fantasy monster mystery show but either way they're really fun they're both really fun shows you can feel they're in the same universe um and we have only had one crossover so far but it's still I've been really enjoying it, and I hope we get more of those. Um, last time on Buffy, I think we finally put the Parker storyline to rest. Um, that annoying guy, Parker, who was really, like, shitty to Buffy, um, but she, like, couldn't get over him. Uh, I think that it, f it was starting to feel a little drawn out, so I'm glad they ended it where they did. Uh, it might have felt more drawn out to me because I've been watching them all, like, back to back. But I have, like, an Angel episode in between sometimes. Um, like, maybe when you're watching week to week, it probably didn't feel as drawn out. Uh, because it was, you had time to, like, forget about it in between episodes. Whereas I'm, like, watching it and being like, great, <laughs> more Parker. Uh... He wasn't good enough for our Buffy, and we all know it. He's not even a supernatural creature. Though for a moment there, I thought he might be an incubus. I was like, are we sure he's not? All these women are falling for this man. And then Willow was like, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> Which, to be fair, none of the women who fell for his shit are stupid. He's stupid for lying to people. Makes him a dingbat. Um, and we also had the bartender at the bar Xander works at now was like, poisoning the beer to turn the college students into cavemen um, which is a crazy sentence I never thought I would say uh it also affected Buffy but it couldn't get rid of her good heart and she ended up saving a bunch of people as caveman Buffy but I'm excited to see her maybe a little reinvigorated this episode over Parker ready to make some moves and move forward um and I hope we get to find out a little bit more about the big bad of the season. We did on the last Angel episode. We found out a little bit more of who I think the big bad is going to be. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe 406 will do the same thing for Buffy. Let us dive in and find out. Um, are people just like watching someone be chased and doing nothing? Thanks for the relocate. I perform better without an audience. Yeah, now she can just stab. I do still think Angel should send her a pair of the steak things from his show. You could make a little effort here, you know. She's like, I miss having a fun villain. I know someone who's a fun villain. Is it him? Yep, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Watch your mouth. 
I mean, is it tempting fate? She's beat your ass every time. This time. Yeah. Yeah. I think we are gonna find more about this shit, though. Yeah, Spike wants to be the big bad, like, so bad, but even in season two, he wasn't the big bad. We've got heady discourse. Yes. So great. What are we doing here and why is it more fun? Because <coughs> the Brahms is nice and, and familiar. Like yeah, and the beer doesn't blanket. turn you into a caveman. Well, I was under the impression that I was your big comfy blanket. Hello. Why are you here? Tell us trouble? Oh, oh, no, 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 Buffy, don't get up. No, no, nothing like that. No, I just, you know, I thought I'd um, drop by. Hmm? He's lonely, I feel like. Because he doesn't so see them during the day anymore. Like very well. I think it's brave that you're here. Well, thank you. Paul. Brave! You made me feel right at home. Is that that girl again? Eye contact? Oh, yeah. Veronica's playing tonight. So, Oz, what about dingoes? When are you guys here again? Oh, we're up next Friday. They're good. Aren't I can't they? understand a word she's singing. Nothing special. Yeah, she's Calviana. Wait, is it all the guys? Maybe she's a succubus. Maybe I was an episode early. Or a siren? Mermaid ass? Man, yeah, Nay's bedroom. Oh, he's in a house off campus, right? That makes more sense. the raspberry hats. I'm so happy. I'm scared. <laughs> Flashbacks. But I was wrong in season three. They were fine. Everything's fine. I'm scared. Not always. Few things shut my brain up completely. Damn, hello! Hmm? Night before the full moon. Oh, that's right. And I have a thing. There's this Wicca group on campus I wanted to check out. They have orientation on the three nature wolfies. I'll be fine. I'm sure, like, Buffy or Giles would help him. The only thing I mind is being away from you for three nights. Them all surviving graduation was a miracle. I want you to prepare to lead a discussion group next class on the paper topic. Buffy's smart. You did better than me. She just doesn't always have time. You made me jealous of you academically. She's like, I'm so proud of you! She wants you to lead a discussion group. Okay, jealous again. Jealous, jealous. Okay, I'm back here. She's what like, are you gonna do, what? I only stare at people when I'm My singing. My girlfriend's coming. There's room. Big lunch. I just I feel like she's eat. some kind of supernatural. Hey, checks here. Like, does that have dressing on it? Agreed. They're talking about music. Just go join them. What's it up? It's weird vibes. And blue voodoo, not your best bet unless you dig the distort. Music talk, huh? Cool. I love to listen to Oz talk about the biz. What do you like again? I, I know you told me. Me too. That's a great song. I mean, Elvis. Huh? What a guy. I don't think they're talking about Elvis songs. fan? The biggest. Well, well, I mean, after dingoes, of course. We're actually talking to Ant. I, she, Veruca was actually nice. She was like, oh, you like the song? She tried to, like, change the topic. You know, Guys, it go. should not be this weird. I'll call you later. Check out the rapid egg that's. Was it me? Me. I don't speak musicianese. It's for me only. It doesn't mean anything. And so Oz checks out another girl. He loves you. I know. But I, I feel guilty. I flog and punish. Exactly. I'm sure Oz is. Yeah, I think he's kind of doing the same thing. This is sounding wrong before I even finish. Oh, did they like install that in his house? Where are they? No, it's in the cemetery? Uh, are we sure that's gonna hold him? No. The answer is no. Doesn't Giles still work at the high school? Oh, the high school got exploded. I was gonna be like, they could still lock him Hello. up there. She's like, am I fucking losing my mind? Buffy, please be on. Uh, there is, a, she is another one. Pack. 
Run away! Yeah, survive! <laughs> uh oh. And also, now he has to fix it before, like, tonight. Asa's like, what the fuck is happening? It makes sense why they both, like, felt, like, a weird tension, but couldn't place it. That was, um... Pierce. Does it count as cheating if it what? happened as a werewolf? You don't remember. I don't think they could control it. It's like that at first, but then little bits and pieces, though. Kidding. She's you like, know, I'm a werewolf, genius. To relax. Not a possibility. He's like, yeah, I think I just... Did, cheated on my girlfriend, but like, so I don't do know, I do? can't really blame the werewolf. You have a cage? Sh you just run you? freely and kill people? Yeah, it has a little wheel with a plastic ball and a cute... Or maybe you just don't want to admit what happened to you. Maybe you just want to pretend like you're a regular guy. I am. I'm only a wolf three nights a month. You ever think about that? I mean, I feel we all can decide for ourselves how we want to handle our werewolfness. Oh, we did. We are nope. going to. Yeah, because you're this in full control of yourself here. Right now. Because they don't know what it's like to be as alive as we are. He's it's like, ma'am, I think you need therapy. <laughs> oh no, she might no. be a crazy werewolf. I know where I belong. I was hoping he'd make a friend. Like, I thought maybe they couldn't control it because of the werewolfiness. Like, why and they're always she staring at each other. But, oh, she knows what no. she's doing. I guess I kind of was like, okay, like, maybe they're just drawn to each other and they don't understand they're both werewolves. But I guess she's been, like, planning it the whole time. Which, that's weird. But at the same time, I can get it. Like, if he's the only other werewolf she's ever met. Like, and she feels really alone. Maybe she wants to, like, latch on to the first other werewolf ever and be like I'm not alone like we can do this together versus Oz who has actually had a good amount of support since the beginning uh he always says his friend group he has Willow so he's a little more still I think connected to that humanity side than she seems to be like she has her band but we don't know if they're like actually friends or they just do the band together uh but yeah, that is interesting. I mean, I think she's obviously coming on very strong and obviously we like Willow. We're not going to like that she's doing that, but I am trying to be like a little open to understanding where her character is coming from because I could see her character growing to be like a good character when she starts realizing having friends can connect you to humanity and stuff. Also might not happen. She might just become evil or a bad guy or just be like morally gray but i think it is an interesting storyline for sure but for a moment i thought it was a gorilla did you have a question buffy hey hey you look oh i like her bag you too hey i'm sorry if i was weird yesterday with you. Oz, you have to tell her. Remember what happened when it was reversed? No. Though there is a difference, he obviously Good. didn't have his own brain to consent. For nothing again. Everything's fine. Maybe you could help me stop. I uh, really, he's covered really in fucking scratches. Anything you could do? What's wrong? Oz is a good guy. I feel like he's gonna tell her. Sorry, I... He should. Busy wolf night. I get it. It's totally okay. I do think someone should have Sweet. gone with him instead of Willow since she was busy with the train gun in case of the door breaking. Too late now. Oh. Buffy. Excellent. Uh, come in. Hi, we have a problem. You come on business, I hope? Yes. Lucky for you, people may be in danger. I only meant, uh, that, that I'm at the Did ready. they not Here's rebuild the, the high school? One of my professors said that she was almost attacked by two wild dogs last night. On the news? Uh, uh, have you spoken with Oz? My next stop. Good, right, good, good, right. Oh, uh, is he gonna lie? To find out. And you report back to me. Hey, Will. Mom let you in? 
She seemed cranky. Yeah, we're having a little landlord-tenant dispute. Well, things with Oz are weird. And I talked to Buffy about it, but I think we're in Guyville here. What does it mean when a girl wants to, you know? If you're doing it, I think you should be able to say it. Yeah, I hate that this season's making me, me agree with him. Say the girl's been noticed. Well, I've deciphered your ingenious code. Okay. Say I've been noticing Oz notice someone else. A woman. And well, I, I thought about it, but then I'll think I'm all jealous and worried. But you are, and odds are Yeah, you, you should be open about that all there is to emotion so you can move forward. Is this gonna hold? Got out, huh? Uh, but I did hear about a woman being chased by two wild dogs. Two, really? You don't remember? Hey, you wolf, know that you? part. No lying. Another wolf? Yeah, I don't think Veruca's gonna keep it a secret Plus? if she finds her. Buzz, are you okay? He's, okay. I think, still Thanks. processing everything, to be fair to him. Like, it sucks that he's lying, but at the same time, I don't know if he's fully even processed what happened. You'd both feel better if you talked about it. Also, we saw Spike get kidnapped at the beginning of the episode and have done nothing with that. I forgot. Is he gonna lock them both in there? Right before sunset, I get a little buzzed, you know? Can't run this I'm having tonight. flashbacks to Lady and Tramp 2 and World without fences vibes. I know people that'll be out there. Alone. Locked okay, we'll add a second wall. <laughs> You'll be safe. Well, I don't want her to Coming. die. She's kind of bitchy, but she doesn't deserve to die. It's like blood boiling. Oh, God. Did you sense me? I bet there's a lot of really strong feelings that come with come meeting here. another werewolf since Did they're so you? rare. Drama is Willow gonna show up? Oh my god. Ah! Does this mean they're tip for tap? Oh no. Okay, but why is she in there? Let's do math. She. Well, they did. You know. Willow. Does he bring Willow. changes of clothes here? To be fair, as werewolves, they probably didn't choose how they slept. I had to. I had to lock her in there with me. I bet. Don't touch me! Yeah, I told her that. I said he should have told her yesterday. Somebody. I didn't have a choice. Put you two together in a room all night? Yeah, I think That's he panicked, point. but she is right there. Lee. He might still be. I don't know. Sorry. Ooh, poor Willow. I knew you, jerk. I know how it feels. I remember. Oh. So, what? This, this is payback? I, I had this coming? No, sweetie, I don't no, think so. Not with what you and I had. Not with whatever you've been doing with her. I don't know what Farouk and I have done. You, you had feelings for her, didn't you? No, I... I could sense something, but... But you wanted her more than you wanted me. Ugh. Guys, I just... I'm so... <laughs> she's crying! I'm so sad! What he's going through is also very complicated. It paused, maybe for a good, because... This is so... <laughs> it, I know the show is so good and the writing is so good because I'm not mad at either of them. Like, I completely understand where she's coming from and my heart breaks for her i completely understand what he's going through and my heart breaks for him and not knowing how to explain it because he doesn't even truly understand it himself oh my god it's so fucking good the show is so good i, I never watch it before now but it's worth it because i get to watch it with you guys but like i feel awful for everybody involved i even kind of feel bad for veruca like i get she's fucking with our couple and we love them together but like she is probably just as confused about being a werewolf. It doesn't seem like she comes from a family of werewolves and has all this knowledge. She's on her own and she found one other person like her that she's drawn to. 
I could understand why she's like, but it's not going to work out for you because we're werewolves, so it makes sense for us to be together. I think she needs to work on listening, but I'm sure there's an excitement, right, when you first, like, find something like that. So, like, honestly, I feel bad for everybody in this situation, and it's so well written that, like, I'm not, like, pissed at anybody. I just feel bad for everybody. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Willow? Oh, thank you, teacher, TA guy. Whatever it is, it's not worth hurting yourself over. I just had a horrible thought that probably... Do you know when you're watching a show and you go, are they going to do this trope? And it, like, triggers in your brain. Um, <clears throat> what if he is one of the military guys or somehow he's connected to that because at first he was just a TA and they've slowly been bringing him in more and more and he seems really nice so what if there's like a twist and he's working with the people who are hunting or he's somehow related to that I'm just throwing it out there because it popped into my brain I went maybe so I'm saying it now because in case I am right we can look back at this and be like I called it <laughs> I have to find Veruca before the sun sets. I, will, oh, I mean, when I do, this thing stops. She's bad news. I'm scared she's gonna use magic and then something worse is gonna happen. Put the blame where it belongs. Okay. Thanks, man. She's mad. Look, Buffy, you should know that. Oz. That might be a good time for your trademark stoicism. I conjure thee by Barabbas. Then why we don't leave the girl with magic Satan alone when she's pissed off? The devil. I feel we need a rule, no magic when we're upset. This way. Let them find no love or solace. Let them find no peace as well. Willow. Well, they could be from the other night when she turned into a werewolf unless she wanted to throw you off the scent hello let this image seal his fate not to love only hate you've made mistakes too you know it's not easy oh thank god make the right choice wow keep what's yours sometimes you have to kill But also, well, yeah, Willow's gotta kick your ass. I hope. See, what if that's what's his face? Do you think we maybe should have pulled the mask off? Why was there a man with a mask in the woods? The tea. You don't know what I have. You don't know anything about me. I know what you love. <laughs> See, Virgo, we can understand where you're coming from and don't not agree with how yet. far you go. Come stop me. How can I? She's the reason you're living in cages. She's blinding you. When she's gone, you'll be able to admit what No, you I think he'd probably kill you. I find out the what I am. The green screen. You're an animal. You're right. We kill. Yeah, they're gonna fight. Willow, uh, I think we get the fuck out of here. Ew! Oh my god, ew. Us? I don't know if he remembers who he is. Oh, he's gonna have so much fucking trauma. Remember how fucked up he was when he thought he bit that other guy? I'm not quite sure I understand. There was just so much going on with Oz and Willow. And the still is. I, the thing is, I, I saw some guys dressed exactly like him on Halloween night. I just assumed they were in costume. But maybe they were working. And as it was, I was too late to... You saved Willow. Right now, she wishes I hadn't. It's like it hurts too much to form words. You. I mean, she probably feels guilty. Like, it's her fault. It's not. Yeah. 
I don't think Oz is going to be doing well. And I can't blame him. Hi. Oh, is he leaving? Oh, I... That's... What are I'm you doing? Pissed. That's your solution? He did murder someone. That's my decision. Brooke was right about something. The wolf is inside me all the time. And I don't know where that line is anymore between me or anybody. That sucks. But okay. he's right! Oh my god, I hate this show, it's so good. People, kind of a planetary epidemic. I don't know. What? Don't you love me? Honey, if only it was that my fucking simple. He might be able to find some other werewolves too who have more experience who aren't Veruca crazy and can help him. Poor Oz. I didn't think he was gonna leave! Okay, but he's alive, so at least he could go back someday. Yet. If he leaves, he can't, right? Oh my god, this episode was so well written. This might be one of my favorite, like, written episodes of the show in the way that, like, I'm someone who very easily can side with, like, my favorites and things and just be like, mm, yeah, my favorite was in the wrong, but it's a TV show and I love them, so I'm on their side. Uh, this episode had me feeling bad for everyone, even Veruca, who turned out to be a murderer <laughs> or a want-to-be murderer who was murdered. Like, obviously, I didn't feel as bad for her when she showed up to try to kill Willow. That is when she made her decision of what kind of person she was going to be. But I could still, like, feel for where she was coming from and, like, what she's probably gone through, right? And then I feel for Oz so badly because it's not like he asked for this and, like, he has been trying his best to, like, live a normal life and, like, obviously there is some werewolf stuff that he doesn't understand because he didn't have anyone to teach him. Uh, and at the same time, I feel awful for Willow, who we all know loves Oz, like, so much, but, like, can't always understand that side of him because she's not experienced it. Um, and it was just heartbreaking to just see that it wasn't something where, like, saying the right thing or doing one thing could have, like, got them off this course. I think it was something that was building and something that was coming. And I think Oz needs to go and find other werewolves who maybe want to live the way he is aiming to live or they already live the way he wants to and, like, learn from them. Um, because... I don't know if he can do it on his own and he also now needs to face that he has killed someone like even if it's self-defense or defending someone else you still took a life and that's going to have meaning and effect on you it's easy in tv shows for us to feel like characters are just like I don't care that I killed someone it like it it has an effect I think the show feels far more realistic when characters are affected by them actually killing someone. They did it really well with like Faith and the guy in season three and showing the different ways her and Buffy reacted to it, but they were both still very affected by it. Faith, we saw her really close down and go denial. Buffy, we saw the guilt. Um, and I feel like this episode was just, whoever wrote it, uh, I don't know if I can see. Um... I don't know, it's not popping up. It was probably at the beginning somewhere. But whoever wrote it, they did an amazing job. Uh, I think it's one of the best written episodes of the series for me, at least so far. Just in the emotional understanding of each character and the ability to tell this story without really making anyone feel like 100% the bad guy in the situation. I'm sure Veruca's supposed to be, but like... I think this show, we have learned that the monsters aren't always pure monsters with, like, Angel and other uh, monsters of the week. And, like, I think you're a little more open to maybe seeing where she was coming from, uh, even if she was wrong. But, yeah, I'm obsessed with this episode. Let me know what you thought of this episode. And I will see you next time.